welcome to another video. Today is going to be all about setting up my camera and my lights to film nail tutorials. And also it might be helpful for some of you who would like to start their own YouTube channel or you would like to know how to set up your camera and lights to make close-up videos maybe about nails or maybe drawings or something else that requires your camera or cell phone to be overhead. So in a couple of short videos I'm going to be showing you everything that I needed to create my little studio and all the process to put this together. If you would like to know more details about it, please keep watching! Okay, so right here I just got this in the mail and I think this is the most important thing that I needed to set up how I'm going to film. I actually ordered three of these. I'm gonna open one and gonna show you what is inside of these boxes. Okay, so real quick, this is what came inside the little box that I was opening. The purpose of this is going to be to hold my lights. And right here, I have one set up. This is one of the lights that I used to film. I have another one that is exactly the same. The reason why I ordered these ones being this short is because I wanted my lights to be very close so the videos will be very bright. It seems that this one hold my light very good, but I'm pretty sure my camera is a lot heavier than those lights and it's probably going to fall off so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the hardware store and I'm gonna go get a piece of wood that I can put on top of here so I can screw these things and then I can make sure that they are not going to be moving at all so I will go get that and I will be showing you as we go before leaving the house I was able to find this piece of wood this is actually from an old shelf that we had and I think this would work out pretty well. It actually matches my desk. So we're going to figure out how to put the lights and the camera over here and we will keep working on it. And this is how my idea is so far. The only thing we need to change now is to find a block that could go underneath this one because this one needs to be higher in order to hold my camera so it can focus because if it's down like this my camera gets too close to the surface and then it would not focus what I'm doing. This is how the project is looking so far. The only thing I don't like is how this one is not black as the rest of it. So what I did was to get this acrylic paint which was very cheap. It was only 50 cents. So I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna start painting this right here. Finish up painting the blocks that are underneath that and I'm waiting for it to dry and then I realized that the bottom of this wood that I'm using is very rough so I decided to get this uh, foam board I'm gonna cut it to perfectly fit under this wood right here so the cut didn't go as smooth as I thought it would. It is a little rough but I don't really worry about that because all I need this for is to protect my desk so I'm gonna put this one underneath that. I'm gonna glue it all together. All right here is the final product. I'm sorry that it's so dark but it's raining outside and I don't have good natural lighting. Anyways you can see I have my two lamps right here. This one right here is the one that holds my camera. The block looks a lot nicer now that it has been painted. Real quick, I wanna show you something else. So I have mentioned already that this one right here is going to be for my camera, but it also would be helpful for someone who is filming with the phone or iPod. If you get one of these items, which is something that you could find in a selfie stick, you just need to remove it from there and you can just work with it. So if you don't have a camera, that should not stop you from doing something that you would like to try. As I said, this is just something that will work for my camera because I can just put my camera right there. But if you get a piece like this, you could film with your phone as well. And here we have it. I hope you guys like this idea as much as I do. I think what I really like the most about it is that one, it was very affordable and two, I think the most important thing is that it doesn't take as much space as you would think it do. I think it's essential to me to have something that I could move easily and this really allows me to do so because I could get it off my table and just work on something else while I'm not filming but I also get easily put it back if I need to film something right away. Anyways, I would like to know in the comments what do you think about this idea 
And also I would like to know if you would like to try something like this. If you think this video was helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this idea and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!